Hi, in this tutorial, so I'd like to explain what custom post types and custom fields are and then how to create them with Jet Engine plugin. Hi, my name is Osamu Wakabeshi from Zenideas. Let's get started. So let me explain what custom post types and custom fields are. So WordPress is not just a web design app. It is a content management system. So that means uh, it is a good application to keep information, data, and content organized. Now, as you see, so we have this post, right? So post and the media and then page. So this is kind of default. And when it's post, you know, people start writing blog and the news, uh, something like that. And they have categories and you can put the tags and the featured image. And then here's a title and this is a content here. But some people, you know, develop uh, it's more than that. It's, uh, you know, they put the events and the publications and the lots of information. And this is not really a good structure to keep uh, your information or content organized. So you want to develop, in addition to post, uh, you want to develop, you know, uh, events and publications. So because if you want to create events, uh, you need to create more than title and descriptions. You want to put date and time, location and organizers. And also like if you want to put the publications uh, once again, so you want to put the publication title and description and publish the date and author and then the number of pages and then again like price too. So you can create uh, events and publications kind of post in addition to um, a default post. So this is called custom post types, okay? And something like the other information, title, description, and published date, author, and the number of pages, uh, we call it the custom fields. Uh, you know, I, I call it the meta fields. I mean, you might say, oh yeah, you know, like for events, for example, I mean, you can put the date and then location and organizers and then cost those information inside of the body here. But it's not really good practice. Uh, I can show you. So if you put the custom post and a custom field, right, something like that, you can, you can create a field for that right so why is this so important because you can sort through you can keep um information organized too so I, uh, let me show you uh my example here so this is like a sample uh web page here so that i created event calendar so this is custom post types just event actually let me show you um actually dashboard here so as you see i have events so this is a custom post type right so i can just click here so in addition post, I have events here, right? So these are, so it looks like uh, it's kind of similar to when you open up a post. And then, um, so for example here, so I got, uh, I can show you the inside here. So this is just the default title and then description here um, and then location. So I got, I create a field for it, okay? And then, so this is kind of front end page. So you can customize uh, this kind of listing view here so this September 1st, those date is actually pulling the data from a custom field. Okay, so I can show you a detail. This is kind of single page. So once again, so those on the right hand side, so those uh, information is uh, coming from custom field. So having information keep organized like this. So this is better for um, users, of course. And also the backend admin too. Uh, here, this is gonna go back here. And then, you know, just imagine if you have uh, every publications, events under the post, uh, it's gonna be so difficult to um, navigate on the back end too. So it's nice to have like events, you know, I got speakers as well um, and the publications here as well. So easier to uh, keep things organized. So next one is, uh, let me explain to you how to create custom post types and the custom fields. So I use Proc Block Jet Engines plugin this plugin is compatible with Elementor and Gutenberg and also Bricks as well. So I already installed Jet Engine plugin and then activated. And now you see right here on the left hand side of sub menu, you see um, uh, Jet Engine and click that. And then go to module tab and then here. So make sure you enable uh, custom content types here. Okay. And then so go to uh, post types here. Okay. So you're going to click 
click that and then so hit add a new okay so and then uh, post type name uh, if it's event you can call events and then post type slugs so you can pick that so it's automatically generated all right and edit edit post type meta box link i usually turn this on uh, it's handy and then hide the meta field names uh, on the edit edit post edit page uh, I don't bother, like I don't know why um, this has option, I don't know who wants that. And labels, I just leave it blank, but you can customize label if you want to. And advanced settings, so, so let's take a look at it. And I keep things as, um, everything as default, uh, except um, I'm going to use hierarchical. So I'm going to turn this on usually. And this is handy. So if you want to put the category or taxonomy, um, you need to have uh, enable this option. And the menu position, so which is here, where do you want to put uh, this event uh, or your custom post type on the on the menu here? Uh, I'm going to just leave it blank here. And the menu icon too. So you can um, select icon here. You can pick, uh, so if it's uh, event, Oops, sorry. I can probably calendar something like that would be nice. All right, and then supports uh, title and editor, so that's a default. And if you want to have, um, so there's other kind of default option here. Uh, for example, if you want to have uh, the featured image, uh, you want to add it to that. But in my case, I probably don't need that for event, so it's up to you. And then now, so meta field, remember, like date and location. So you can add a new meta field here. For example, uh, I want to add location. So I'm type that. And the ID name should be generated automatically. And then object type, I'm going to pick field. And then field type is going to be, uh, I like to put the text area here. And then, so the field width, 100% uh, is good, but you can pick uh, you can pick whatever you want. So I'm gonna just keep it to 100% here. And then you can limit the character right here as well. And then default value. So in this case, I don't have anything. And then location uh, has to be required, okay? And then quick, oh, there's quick edit support too. So I like it, uh, quick edit support. I can explain to you later here. And then this is um, location. And then let's put another new meta field. For example, maybe date, right? So, and then field, uh, instead of text, so there is a date field here, okay? And then uh, save as timestamp. So this is important. The rest is gonna be okay, um, except I'm gonna check this as a, as a required too. And then put another, another one. So let's say, you know, uh, time, here and then field that's okay so also like you there is a time here so you can pick that and then once again so this is uh, required as well and then so last one here maybe uh, organizer's name something like that and I'm gonna just keep it the ID name short maybe like that something like this good and um, the field is gonna be uh, text is okay you know this is just one line usually and then, uh, so this, if you want to, uh, hit the require, okay? And then hit add post type. Now, I already created events here, so I'm not gonna uh, hit add a post. So now I have uh, this events, and then once again, so take a look at it. Um, so in addition to uh, title and then description, and I've got a location here and date, so you can pick any date and then time here as well and organize its name. Now let's go back and then now, so it's easy to uh, keep adding your event information here, right? Yeah, so let's add the uh, event here, how to create uh, CPT. Maybe this is kind of uh, maybe webinar and then so I'm gonna just, uh, And I hit to go ahead and publish. Okay, so let's go to um, go to calendar. So it should be right here. Okay, and then uh, 
with the view detail and it's here all right so that was a kind of quick tutorial for how to create custom post type and the custom field i hope this helps and i'll see you next time